What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually had a pretty lucky episode where we donated both the Void Salmon and the Dinosaur Mayonnaise to the missing bundle over here. Now all we're really missing is the Caviar, which we're sort of working on right now. The wine, probably not going to do that. We're probably going to get the caviar beforehand. Uh, but as you can see over here, we have Robin building one of the fish ponds. I don't know when that's going to be done. I don't know how fast she finishes that. Probably just one day, honestly. Uh, but I think after she finishes that, I'm either going to build another fish pond, because someone actually reminded me in the comments, that whenever you have, like a, you have like a fresh fish pond, you can only put like three fish in it like at first. And then, you know, over time, it'll like upgrade and you'll get more and more room. And that's kind of how we started out with the spook fish, you guys. Remember, we had only one spook fish. And then after a billion years, I guess this is maxed out right here. Either that or it probably takes more time for it to get an eighth slot over here or something like that. I don't know. Uh, either way. And then, yeah, after a little while, they ask for something like like they ask for amethyst and like purple mushrooms and stuff like that. So they require more room. But at least we're going to start out with three right off the bat instead of just one like the spook fish. So that's why I'm kind of thinking of getting a second one over here. Or I guess a third. I guess a second one specifically for the sturgeons. So we can put three here and three here. And then we still have two left over. For whenever they uh like request something and want more room, right? But already got a lot of the like morning like busy work done just a minute ago, so that's good. So we can get a bunch of coffee and we're gonna be harvesting like 90% of our uh star fruit right here, which is really good. Cause I think last episode I was like redoing the keg, like like refilling up the kegs, and I was like, man, I'm I'm getting kind of low on star fruit. I'm gonna start using ancient fruit. Well, hey, <laughs> looks like we're getting more star fruit now, which is really good. And even some ancient fruit, as you guys can see right here. One uh random star fruit over there, but yeah. Man, look at all the ancient fruit we're getting in just one day right now, you guys. Golly! And of course, you can see on the trees, we do have multiple, like, cherries and apricots and all that other stuff over here. There you go, boom. Might as well grab them on day two instead of waiting until day three, right? Uh, just kind of clean it out a little bit, and then I can go three straight days without coming over here and checking, right? But there you go, getting some of the fruit. Don't really know what I'm going to use these fruit for right now, but I'll, I'll just keep them just in case I want to use them for anything, but... Do we have any... Yeah, we don't have any seeds over here. I might want to... I need, to, I need to see what my luck and all that kind of stuff is. Maybe I'll go over to the desert. I know it is Friday. We can go over to the Traveling Merchant, see what she has to sell. We need to reuse that room over there and that room up there on top uh, right as well. Don't want to forget about that. And yeah, we have plenty of stock over here and even some uh, regular ancient fruit right there too. Cool. Awesome. So anyways, let's just go check up on the uh, the luck and all that kind of stuff. Just real quick. Machines ready 15. Wait, what is that? 15 machines are ready. Sap down here. Is that done? Surely we don't have uh, that much sap done, do we? Or well, we have some, but oh, I, th I think it's the cheese makers and the mayonnaise machines. Yeah, because I got that done ahead of time. But yeah, still some pine tar right there, though. So it's not too bad, but I need to cut down those mahogany trees. And that even reminds me, I need to cut down the railer trees as well. Uh, we can't really do anything with the cheese right here because we don't have enough casks. Uh, that's why I kind of want to cut down more of those railer trees so we can craft more of those casks. Cool. And of course the cheese, we're keeping that for putting inside the casks and stuff. So, I don't know, maybe later on this episode off camera or something like that, I'll go uh, cut down more trees in the uh, in the farm. But for right now, I'm putting some of the extra cheese up in this chest right here just because that's where we're keeping the sturgeon and stuff anyway. So, anyways, l let me check up on the TV and luck and all the kind of stuff over here real quick. So the weather report for tomorrow is clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, good. And the luck for today is neutral, but I think if we select ourselves, whoops, that's a rug. We select ourselves at slightly, yeah, 1.4%. So I don't know if that's because of the lucky ring, because wouldn't neutral be like 0%, but still. And yeah, I, I might as well go to, let's go look at the traveling merchant. And I don't know, maybe we can go to the sewer guy, because I'm like, it is winter time. We could buy more iridium sprinklers from the sewer fella for 10 grand each, so. That's completely doable. I guess if we do that, we're going to head down here. And yeah, I mentioned it last episode. I do want to replace these uh, lately pathways to make them too wide as well as the uh, smooth pathways. That way it's kind of consistent all around the farm. So I'll probably do a lot of off camera stuff this episode, to be quite honest. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a two day episode or something like that. Uh, just kind of shake things up a little bit because last two episodes we've been doing a lot of heckin farming and stuff. Right. But Amaranth, five coconuts, no, five coconuts in stock. Each one is 500 gold. Man, Barb Hook, I'm pretty sure we already have that pumpkin soup it does give you luck though oh yeah that was yeah that was the other uh, thing that gave us luck so maybe i can get some pumpkins because we have plenty of pumpkins as we just saw a second ago so and then cactus uh, fish stew sun 44 i don't know if i'd want that yeah i don't see anything over here really worthwhile so yeah i'm not going to buy anything from you so yeah kind of sucks there we have more trees we can cut down over there but i think if we go this way we could actually go to the uh sewer fella wait is this the right you can go in this can't you yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you appear here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Golly. Uh, and then this thing is like the... What's this again? 
Yeah, change professions. Yeah, for 10,000 gold. I'm like, what if we first saw that 10,000 gold? That sounded like a lot. I'm like, it is still a lot, to be quite honest, but uh, 146,000, we have plenty of money. But for right now, yeah, we can get the Radiant Sprinkler, we can get another one of those, you know, keep stockpiling them in, in preparation for, uh, for springtime. And speaking of such, someone said to buy these recipes. This is 500, this is 1,000. Saying to buy them from Robin, but she's working on her thing right now, so we can't buy anything from her, unfortunately. We get statue recipe. There's not something unsettling about the looks of this statue. It's on the ground to create paths to spruce up your floors. I'm like, it's made out of crystal or refined quartz. So, well, one refined quartz gets us five floors, so. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not these. Maybe I'll buy the ones from Robin whenever she's done. Uh, probably tomorrow in game or whatever, right? But for right now, uh, I guess, I don't know. It's 2 10 p.m. We don't really have that much time for go over to the desert. I kind of want to go get that pumpkin soup and stuff, too, just to kind of raise our luck a little bit, you know, but, man. Yeah, I'm like, if I go over there, I'm going to get the star fruit seeds and all the kind of jazz, just so we can plant more in the greenhouse, because I don't want to have it, like, 99% uh, ancient fruit, even though it makes a lot of money. Star fruit gets us even more money than the ancient fruit, but uh, let's just go up here. I suppose we'll grab some of the uh, pumpkin soup or whatever that was, because I'm sure we have some extras left over. I'm sure we made some pumpkin soup. Yeah, 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 so we have a few of them, so I guess I can grab just one. Maybe Pepper Popper for the speed, or maybe something else. Oh yeah, Spicy Eel, well, that was another one too, so yeah. Uh, pumpkin Soup and Spicy Eel, those are two ones that give us luck, so. Don't want to forget about those, and then Triple Shot Espresso, I guess I can get a couple more of those in case I run out, right? But for right now, let's just go put up the sprinklers, and by the way, yeah, we put the Christmas tree down last episode too, so don't want to forget about that. Mm, yeah, no star fruit, and cool. I need to put the fertilizer in the other chest. Uh, but yeah, no, no star fruit over here, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. And, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go, you guys. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah. We, I'm pretty sure we have enough materials to get a second fish pond. It's just, like, five. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a, there's a uh, witch right there, too. And we got some holly and crystal fruit and stuff here, too. Cool. But, uh, we have until five, I think, to come over here. And, hey, look at this. Double worms. Ba-boom. And get some maple syrup. Don't mind if I do, because I'm a waffle, right? But let's go over to Caligo Desert. I guess we'll go over here. I, I, I didn't bring my staircases now, I think about it, but... At the same time, didn't we leave some staircases here? Or at least we left Jade here, and I... Think. Yeah, we have to trade Jade on Sundays, I believe, right? It's kind of crazy, because we're... I don't think we ever... Yeah, we didn't have the desert unlock last time, right? During the wintertime? I don't think so. Maybe, like, like the tail end of wintertime or something like that, right? But it, it's very jarring coming from the uh, wintertime area all the way over here to the desert, where it's just the same. Nothing's changed, you know? But let's go over here to the uh, Oasis. I don't know how many Starfruit Seas I want to buy. Each one is 400 gold, so that's a, that's a lot of money. It adds up after time, right? Seasonal plant... I forget if I bought one of these before, and then just a regular old shirt, I guess you could just dye that and stuff. Large green, I feel like we have that. Don't I have that, and it's like oriented up down? I need to figure out how to orient it sideways like that, though. That, that'd look better as a uh, little skirt for our Christmas tree, right? But for right now, I guess we'll get a seasonal plant. I don't know, maybe like two or three of them. Just kind of put them all around the house, because the house is physically, physically bigger, so might as well uh, fit it up with some more decorations and stuff, but. Star food, we have a lot of money. Let's get, I'd say, 50 as a good, and we're at, we're down to 115k. We're not really saving up for anything right now, except for the fish pond, which I think is like 10k or something like that, right? And the 200,000 gold uh, catalog from Robin, so. We still have 115,000, we can get a lot. Oh, hey, look at some worms right there. I almost just got some comments. Eh, mix seeds, I'll take it. I'm like, I'm not really going to really, actually, I don't even know if you can plant those during the winter time. I guess I could chill. Whoa, gold mask, what is that? Oh, I have to donate it, man. Hold on, what's it say? Oh, just yeah. I, I thought I could bypass the Gunther thing by. Oh yeah, I can. I can do that here, can't I? Oh yeah, here it is, right here. A creepy golden mask, probably used in an ancient magic ritual. A socket in the forehead contains a large purple gemstone. Ooh. So it's only worth 500 gold. I found only one of them. Don't think it had any recipes, did it? Uh. Oh wait, you can craft it by. Wait, what? You craft a golden mask by putting a cloth and a golden mask together. Oh, I guess maybe this is the wearable version of it, right? Because it's just the artifact version. I can't, like, wear it, can I? Yeah, I can't wear it here. So I, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe here in the future. There's another uh, coconut down there. I guess I can grab it real quick. Uh, but let's get the uh, pumpkin soup and all the kind of jazz going real quick. Yeah, and we're going to empty our inventory, too. I don't want to see if I have any of the uh, staircases over here, just in case, you know, in case we don't have really that good luck, because we do have neutral luck and stuff today. Oh, I have the jade, yeah, I have the jades. Oh, I've got to bring the, uh, man, the vampire ring. We have the new vampire ring. I left it over in the mines, man. And then, yeah, speaking of mines, I need to go to the uh, regular mines and try and find the slimes. I forgot about that mission, man. All right, so there we go. I think we have a pretty good inventory right now. Let's just roam around. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, hey, look at that. We found some jade's rod to bow right here. Cool. Uh, so there you go. Break that. Get some jade. Get some gold. And we need to get some pumpkin stuff, pumpkin soup, and hopefully we get some really good luck out of this, you guys. Let's see. I don't know. I, I guess if anything, we can kind of myth bust that, that comment I read. Oh, hey, there you go. That comment I read last episode saying, you can only find the prismatic slime in the mines, like in uh, Pelican Town itself, instead of the desert. Like, 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 this thing doesn't count, right? This skull cavern doesn't count, so. Can I kill this thing with, no, I still can't. Golly, that thing is durable. <laughs> Man. So we have a, yeah, we have a big slime here though. So if I break him open and, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't, oh man, I went one, one more over and I missed the, uh, oh. Yeah, see all these guys are just purple slimes. I don't think they could be prismatic. Oh, and that one has red eyes. I think he's angry. Oh, oh, we already found the way down. I'm already losing a lot of health right here. Golly, I need to use a hammer. Golly. Let's get that crystal fruit. That's going to get us a lot of, uh, oh no, it gives you, oh, it gave you a lot of health too. Golly. I thought it was like primarily just energy, but holy heck, it gives you a lot of health. And there you go. Yeah, nothing else up there. And down here. Okay, so we can get another ruby here, which is good. Boom, boom. Nice. Man, that did some good damage. Don't mind if I do. And whoop. And he didn't split into smaller ones. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. Now we get the ruby back. We didn't miss it that time around, so that's good. See if there's anything else around this way. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, there's always going to be, whenever you see a minecart in the skull cavern. Always going to get coal in that. Don't want to miss out on that, right? But uh, oh, 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 I'm going to get attacked. Although this is kind of good because I do need to get some more progress. Oh, some, oh this this guy. Ah, it's not really that good, but we're only on layer four. I guess I'll leave. Yeah, let's just leave. We don't really have that much time. Man, I can't find that way down. Oh, my gosh. It's 8 p.m. We're losing a lot of time. Man, we're only on layer five right now. We're not even anywhere near getting iridium. Golly. I don't know why, why'd I even come to this skull cavern right now? <laughs> oh, I thought it might have been something good to do because we had neutral luck and kind of waiting on Robin to build our thing, but man, we're not really finding anything here, unfortunately. Oh, found the way down. Okay, cool. And we got some gold and diamonds right there, it looks like, but, and a mushroom too, but I think we have a literal mushroom cave, but I'll still grab it. <laughs> oh wait, oh, I was on cooldown. Man, that cooldown is going to kill me. I'm pretty sure it's already done it at least once before. <laughs> there we go. Oh, whoa, red cabbage seeds. Eh. Not bad. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I did say the original reason I came here was to get the uh, star fruit seeds and stuff, right? So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Man, another crystal fruit right there. I <sighs> using up all those, but hey, at least it heals me up pretty well because this is iridium quality, right? So, man, whoop, there it got him. Nice. All right, well, it's already 940. We're, we are not even in the double digits just yet. There you go. Level eight. Oh, wow. Already found the way down right there, but is there anything over here? Any boxes? Anything worthwhile? Got this thing, which is like aquamarine or something like that. Yeah, I'll grab that, but eh, it's layer 10. I'll just go down to layer 9. Hopefully we actually find something. Man. Another diamond, more fire cords, and amethyst, I think that is right there. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think you get anything in that backpack when you find it a second time, so that kind of sucks. Get some mummies right here, too. Go gold. Whoa! Oh, how did I do that right there? I was insane. Ba boom Got both of those mummies. Oh, we hit them once, though. Man. All right, well, I'm just going to spam here. Oh, got him. And we got spicy eel and void essence right there. Not bad. And one down, two down. Awesome. Okay. And we're going to get hit. Let's get a uh, energy bar or whatever this thing is. We got another egg dragon. Ah! There you go. Got him, man. That's pretty good. Although we're taking some damage. We got him. Nice. All right. Well, I think another one's spawning here. So let's heal up. Golly, I need to heal up with that. Hops right now. Gold star hops. We need to get some better hops. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, there's another egg and dragon right there. They just, just keep spawning in. Golly. And... Oh, 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 I blocked right there with the sword. Okay, that's that's not that bad. And we do still have the defense. Yeah, the defense lasts for quite a while. That pumpkin stew or whatever. Not that bad. All right, guys, I am having some horrifyingly bad luck right now. I'm trying to find a way down. Let me guess. Okay, I was about to say, it better not be like just right out here out in the open. <laughs> Jeez. Man, I've been breaking so many rocks. It's already almost midnight. I still need to grab all my items and go back home on the bus. I don't know if I'll be able to do it here in just a second. We're still on level nine. Man, where is this? I don't have to kill everything in here. Man, at least we got to start. Oh my gosh, now we have one of these things getting attacked by a bunch of dragons at once, I think. Golly, we're not going to be able to get out of here, are we? All right, let's kill him. Or at least do some damage. We still need to try and find a reckon way down out of here. Here we go, here we go. Awesome, okay, cool. Didn't get any progress there, unfortunately, man. Huh. Huh. Okay, at least those... those Oh, there we go. We found a hole. Okay, just jump in. It's already like a midnight stuff. I don't, how many levels did it? Eh, decent amount of levels right there, but I'm already getting attacked again. Ah! Man, get that away from me. Man, I can't even do anything here. I might as well just leave. Golly, it's 1230. 
Ah, <sighs> alright, well, <laughs> guess I'll just grab all the items back, man. And we got some red cabbage, that's not even worth it. Well, I did get one iridium ore right there, so it's not too terrible. And we did get the golden mask, too, so... I, I guess it was sort of eventful in some sort of a way, right? But I wish we had more luck down there in the school caverns, but whatever. I'm like, we do have the luck boost. It was only neutral today, so it could only... Oh, man, I just heard a... Uh, it's 12.50. We don't really have that much time, so yeah. I, I'm not going to go panning for gold. It, the only space that has water, that, that droplet sound could have come from is that little pond up there, but I'm not even going to bother. And yeah, easy right here. Huge contrast from the desert we were just in, right? So yeah, let's just go straight home. Where is my horse? Why did I leave my horse all the way down here? What in the world? 1250 though, but I think hopefully in the morning time. By the way, what happened to all the torches here? Did I remove them for some strange reason? I don't know. Let me look into that. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I guess we could, yeah, smelt like gold and iron and stuff. You're sure. We have coal, right? So there you go. Cool. Awesome. And we got two diamonds. Not bad. Anyways, let me just put up a bunch of trash real quick. Uh, yeah, so we do, we do have a rug like that. I just need to figure out how to orient it left or right instead of uh, up and down like that, right? And yeah, it's 1.10 p.m. We have plenty of time to lay down some plants here, so that's not too bad. Starfruit seed, I'll probably keep that in my inventory, honestly. What is that? Oh, that's in the summer. I could grow it in the uh, greenhouse just to kind of get it done and out of the way, right? And then we do have bot choy seeds, too. Don't want to forget that we literally have the greenhouse, so we just put anything in there anytime we want to, right? So yeah, I don't want to forget about that. And then we got the, yeah, seasonal plants right here, so I don't know. Put something up here, I suppose. Yeah, right here on the corner. Sure, why not? Oh, what in the world is empty? Do I have to put something in that? I hope not. Golly. All right, well, I don't know. Maybe in the morning I'll reorient that. Uh, let's put another plant here. And it's 140. Let's put another plant here. Sure. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a plant in there in uh, myself, aren't I? But whatever. Let's just go to bed at 150. Man, right on time. All right, well, overnight we're getting 67, 62. Yeah, decent money right there. Not too bad. All right, so... Yeah, let's see if Robin finished the fish pond, the first fish pond right now. And if she did, then I guess we'll go pair and get another fish pond going. And then hopefully we'll have two fish ponds going for the uh, sturgeons and that more likelihood uh, of us getting the, what's it called, the caviar? Or just sturgeon row and then we have to put in the preserving bin and then it becomes caviar, right? But thing here, how do I... Yeah, you have to right click to make it rotate. Yeah, so we could put that under here, although I do like the red. So maybe I'll get the red one and rotate that instead, so, uh... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. I like that. Cool. Okay, well, I guess we'll put this rug down like that. Yeah, see, it's right in front of the bed. That fits pretty well, honestly. It's kind of stuck here with random cacti in the middle of my bedroom right there, though, <laughs> so... Can't really do anything with that, unfortunately. I got some cactus fruit right here, too, I need to put up, too, but, uh, where in the world did my wife go? She's gone, unless she's reading in her, uh... I'm well, like, it is Saturday, she's probably sleeping. No, she's not even sleeping in. Man, I don't know what happened to her, but, uh, anyways... If it's 50 star fruit seeds. Oh yeah, I should have planted that last night. We did have we did have the time, so we missed out on one night of uh wait, what in the world? Coal. Why don't I even be smelting there? Why is it yelling at me about that? Uh but yeah, we were missing on one night of uh stuff. And yeah, see it's yelling at me about them wanting stuff. And she did finish the fish pond, so that's good. But what do they want? Three oh whoa. What a coincidence! I've got three gold in my inventory right now. But blip, blip, blip. Well, thanks for the gold bar. Oh gosh, look at all of them jumping around right there. Look, like, they did say gold bar instead of bars. They did not know I put three of them in there instead of just one. <laughs> and now, yeah, see, look at that. Now we have room for all 10 of them. It was limited to seven out of seven. Now it's seven out of 10, so. Yeah, so we have to do, when did we get the spookfish pond? From then until now is how long it took to get all 10 slots, golly. But anyways, oh man, even more star fruit finished up right there, okay. Whatever, uh, I'll plant down them all like right now, and I think all except for like a few right there are fertilized. So let's, let's grab some fertilizer right here. Which one? I guess I'll get the deluxe speed just so it grows faster. Just because I'm going to be putting these inside of kegs and stuff anyway, so it's not that big of a deal if they're uh, just going to be normal quality wine, yeah. So let's put those up in there, and uh, I don't know how many... There you go. I don't know how many star fruit I actually have right here, but... Uh, and you guys, remember when you guys commented saying to only put down like four things of uh, coffee right there? Yeah, those have been serving me just fine. I haven't needed to make coffee in a, quite a while, honestly, so... Yeah, I'm glad I didn't like fill this whole entire thing out with like coffee or like half coffee or a quarter coffee or whatever. Just four of them is more than enough. So anyways, there's some extra seeds right here. Oh, wow. I'm glad I got 50 because I only have one left over. Look at that. Holy heck. I thought I have like maybe like 30 left over, but man, we have just one. And like you guys said last episode, we have plenty of uh, room right there for, uh, by the way, we could do this, can't I? Plenty of room there for uh, like multiple uh, fruit for each tree. So where's the path? Oh, here it is right here, stone floor. So I don't know if I already have some of these like pre-made and stuff. So oh, let's get like, 
probably like a hundred just because I'm going to do some makeover uh, stuff over here as well as like uh, like I said uh I do want to do some uh, off camera work cutting down trees and whatever else and I do like how it's kind of like adaptive I guess you could describe it as where if it's like too wide like that and am I able to oh I thought I could just replace by doing that so I have to, I have to break the I have to manually break this and then place it down man all right, well, whatever, not that big of a deal. Uh, but like I said, just a second ago, I do want to go to Robin and get her started building the second fish pond. So we'll definitely have to go pay her a visit here in just a minute. But for right now, let me place down these paths and I guess I go grab some of the sturgeon as well and go put those inside the brand new fish pond over there too. Yeah, see, we're getting a lot of like cheese, goat cheese and stuff like that. We have a lot of them already piled up inside, inside of a random chest, so. Yeah, I definitely need to go cut down those trees and get more uh, casks going under the, in the in the basement and stuff, you guys. But I do believe this episode, at least one of those cheeses has turned to either silver or gold by now. So at least they're starting to make some progress. But yeah, still going to be a little while until they're all iridium quality, right? Oh, yeah. And by the way, we have a piece of mail. What is this? Who is this from? We got a random piece of cauliflower from Caroline. Huh? Here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out. Oh, yeah, I keep I forgot about the garden that she has in her house. You guys said I can go over there and get tea leaves, I believe. I don't know if there's a specific time or, like, part of the month or whatever I have to do it. Like, you can only get tea leaves, like, in your farm in the last week of the month, right? I don't know if it's, like, 24-7 for her. So maybe we can go pay her a visit if we go to up here and sell some stuff. But there you go. Uh, you probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Yeah, you're absolutely right there, Caroline. Golly, I always get comments about it. Like, I'm hoarding a bunch of vegetables, just hoarding money. <laughs> I've got another challenge for you. Catch me a link. I've already caught them. I caught a bunch of them trying to get uh, sturgeon, so... Man, I wish I got this like a couple days earlier. Uh, they don't go down. Yeah, tell me about it, but I know you can do it. Yeah, I'm going to get another cork and more bait, right? Uh, yeah, so we have the quality bobber right now. We have a little bit of bait. We do have some quality or uh, wild bait over here. I forgot about those. So I have to grab that. Don't worry, forget about that, right? I have to replace. Yeah, so let's replace these over here too, over by the horse. And this is double wide. Yeah, I'm going to also replace a lot of the pathways and figure out how to do a double wide path everywhere. Cause like if I'm going to be like doing a makeover for the farm, winter time is t the time to do it. And uh, yeah, see right here I got to work with cause we have iridium sprinklers here. I can't really do a double wide here unless I like kind of push that over, right? So I'd have to, and then what is this? Is there, is there something there? Yeah, see there's like a sprinkler that, yeah, see it's kind of wonky. We have a wonky setup here, you guys. Man, I'm gonna have to figure something out here, but right now yeah let me at least place down some of these so we have a little bit of progress going uh replacing some of these into the smooth uh, stone paths here and hang on I'll, I'll turn these like this but over there we have the furnaces and stuff and the horse is able to go through that anyways but yeah we've got to push those sprinklers over but we're already going to be uh moving the sprinklers later anyways so it's not that big of a deal so let me place these down over here and try and get a two wide path for a majority of our farm area oh wow you're able to put uh paths over that little bit right there Did you guys see that uh, for the for the fish pond. Oh man, I forgot to grab the sturgeons. Okay, whatever. We do have a teleport right here, so we could easily just go grab them. And I love the contrast between the dark gray bricks. Oh, there's my wife. Uh, the dark gray bricks that we're placing down right now, and this crazy music. So how many sturgeon? Like three. I don't. I'm going to grab this whole six stack right there. And let me go put the uh, I have a lot of stone in my inventory. Yeah, that's for the pads and stuff though. So what did we need for the fish pond? Let, let me call Robin. Hold on. Let me make sure. And it's Saturday, so she should be available today. I think she is. Uh, but uh, And then, yeah, we need to go to the museum for that, too. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. Building upgrade. Wait, hold on. Is that? Yeah, it also shows this, too. Okay, cool. And someone also said to uh, upgrade the shed. So is that on here? Big shed. Yeah, big shed. So that's 550. What? Yeah, see, that's another reason. I have, like, no wood. I used it all to make casks. So, you know, cutting down some trees. It's going to help us getting the big shed as well. And then throwing just stone. I'm sure we have that. Uh, but where is another? Fi oh, there it is. Okay, so 200 more stone and then the five seaweed, five green algae. We could do that and then 5,000 gold. That's fine. Five seaweed and five green algae. We could do that right here, I think, right? Uh, so, no, that's Fiddlehead Fern. Right here. Wrong chest. This one. <laughs> no, this one right here. <laughs> Why do I have it in this chest? And there's five. And here's another five right there. Okay, cool. So we're going to have two fish ponds right here, which is good. Uh, let me grab more stone right there. So she's going to take 200 anyways, right? So I need more for uh, paths and stuff. Penny, hey, how are you doing? I don't think I said hi to you, did I? I'd love to hear all about the artifacts you found. Archaeology is found. Yeah, see, she loves the artifacts and stuff, but I don't want to accidentally give her this uh, golden mask, even though it is really cool to think there may have been farmers at this very spot 10,000 years ago. Hug, kiss, whatever that is right there. So sturgeon, we need to put these over here. Oh, I have to do it uh, this way by like throwing them in, right? How do I do that? Yeah, there you go. One, two, one, two. Oh, it's only one right now. Wait, what? Oh, man, I forgot about that. I thought I'd start out with three, but no. Man. 
All right, well, at least we're going to get started with another fish pond here in just a minute, but, uh, oh, whoops. Did I need to teleport? Hopefully I needed to. Oh, well, I didn't do that for no reason. Oh, yeah, I was going to put some stuff up in the shed, so let me go do that real quick. But I'm already liking the way the, uh, farm looks with all the, the slightly bigger paths. Oh, wow, a bunch of star fruit just finished up right there, you guys. Amazing. Let's grab these. Let's get those going over here. Holy heck. All right, so Pierre closed that five. I, I want to say five. I don't think I missed anything right there, so I'm good. So this is 14, which is uh, 44,000. So we had like 60, almost 70,000 in the bank after this. So you guys, this is going to be amazing. But uh, we'll spend 5K to give the Robin here in just a minute. So don't want to forget about that. All right, well, let me get on the horse. Let's go pay Robin a visit. Or, uh, yeah, let's go to Pierre. I think he closes before Robin. So let's go see what he's up to over here. Empty his bank account, get some money. And then probably the rest of the episode, honestly, I think I'm going to go cut down some of the trees, like I said I wanted to do. So get a bunch of wood and we'll be able to upgrade that shed here next episode, I guess, right? Is she, it only takes her like one day. Yeah, there is stuff for one. And sure, take, I don't know. Do I need cauliflower? I, I, I used it for pickle cauliflower previously, but I have a bunch of pumpkins to do that now. So I don't know. I might just, I'll keep it for right now. And just in case I'm ever short on uh, pumpkins, like 10 episodes from now or something like that, right? But I don't even know. What is the luck in all that kind of stuff today? Man, I forgot to check that. Golly. But anyways, uh, let's go up to Robin. Well, let's get her going on the uh, other fish pond over there. Hey, Abigail, how are you doing? Get out of the way! Move, move! Golly! This is too wide, are you kidding me? Ah, <sighs> anyways. <laughs> let's just go pay Robin a visit. And then literally pay her like five grand. Man, I just heard a sound effect for panning for gold right there and I missed it. Ah, oh, golly. All right, well, Robin, yep, there you are right there. Okay, cool. So, uh... Yeah, construct farm, but yeah, so let's, let's get another fish pond going over here. I know you just built one, but uh, you're going to build another one. So here you go. <laughs> I mean, you just built one like out in the snow, like multiple inches of snow, I think it said, right? I don't know, maybe this one I'll put... Oh yeah, you know what? We could have a four by or a two by two like grid right here, honestly. We'd have a one, two. Then we could put one right here. I need to get rid... Thankfully, that rock isn't like one pixel to the right. See, I, I could put this right here. Yeah, this isn't too bad. And put another one right here. Yeah, I like this. Then we have a, oh wow, there's like a, oh, there's like a something planter right there. I'm gonna clean that out, but I'll do that here in just a minute after I clean all this out. Uh, but let's place this here. So there you go. So she's going to start working on that tomorrow. So late next episode probably is whenever it's going to be done and we'll get her upgrade on the shed. And that should give us enough time to cut down plenty of trees. And then, uh, who was it? Am I able to, am I able to finish that mission right now? Oh, I have to, oh, I just have to bring him a link. I don't, I, 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 I do I have an extra link on? Let me go home and let me check. Because I don't, I, it doesn't say I have to catch a Lincoln. It just says I have to bring him a Lincoln. Oh, it's 450. But yeah, we want to see him over in the saloon anyway, so it's not that big of a deal either. Uh, well, let's check up on this chest right here. Lincoln. Where is that? Is this alphabetical, alphabetical order? Yeah, here we go. So we have a silver star. Okay, so we can go give that to Willie. Cool. And then a uh, gold mask. Oh, yeah, I need to go to the museum. Yeah, let's go. Let's go put that up real quick. See if we get a reward from the uh, museum guy. And then, Pam, yeah, Pam just uh, finished up. Yeah, just sitting out in the cold snow. And, oh, whoa, two worms right next to each other. Holy yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Mixed seeds and uh, another strange doll right there. Okay, whatever. And uh, let's go to the town. Okay, 510. Yeah, we still have a little bit of time. Okay, thankfully, Clint didn't walk out of the uh, blacksmith area like, right as I did that. Knowing my luck, right? Let's go lay this down in the museum. This golden mac and mask. Yeah, there's room there. There's even room over here. I never even noticed it before. Uh, but yeah, so we have that. We have like three slots there and a few slots there. So I don't know. And then we have all these down here. We're, we're getting pretty. Oh, there's a few slots down here, too. I don't know. We're probably like, I'd say 80, 85 percent done, I guess. Oh, whoops. Just picked something up right there. Man, stop picking stuff up. Golly, there you go. <laughs> I didn't get a reward, man. <sighs> all right. Well, whatever. Uh, what was I doing just a second ago? I could, oh, yeah, I was going to cut down the trees and all that kind of stuff, too. I just kind of make myself busy for the rest of the day because I don't think there's. Ouch, oh, what in the world am I doing over here? I don't think there's anyone's birthday or any events happening today, and I do need to go. Oh, yeah, I do. I do need to go see Willie, but he's going to be in the saloon, so I'll have a little bit of time, but let me go double check him on the heckin' calendar so I don't get any comments saying, oh, you missed someone's birthday today. Oh, well, we got it. Wait, what is this event for? It's a penny event, obviously. Welcome home, honey. How was your day? It was fine. Not good. It was fantastic. That's great. I'm glad you're enjoying your work so much. I'm like, it is the winter time. I'm not really working too much. I'm happy you're home. I'm happy to see a penny. Oh. So is this all this is? Oh, oh, you smell like the outdoors. Ooh, does she like that? Oh, whoa, what in the world? This is like the first time I've ever seen her like facing the camera here, you guys. You guys see that? Has she ever done this before? Like she kind of looks weird, honestly, because she's always like facing like at an angle, but now we see her like head on. 
Have I just never noticed that before? Oh, what's she doing? You know, I really appreciate the hard work you do for the family. Yeah, see, yeah, she's at an angle right there. Yes, yeah, she, she looks different. That doesn't even that didn't even look like her like five seconds ago. Is it me, or do you guys see that too? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Uh, anyways, I'm getting really distracted right now. So it's important to me that when you come home, the house is nice and cozy and everything's in order. I'm like, as orderly as it could be for a disgusting mess. Look at my room over there. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'd like to redecorate the bedroom with some of my own handmade decor. You know what? I trust you more than I trust myself with decorating. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, Leah, she's facing the camera again. That's kind of weird. Like, she looks like a different person, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just used to just one little, little like, like bun thing right here, right? Instead of two of them. I don't know. But first, I have to ask you, what is it? What style do you prefer? The forest and the moon? Peaceful blue. Ooh, strawberry home. Pirate thing. I don't want to change it. Forest and the moon. I like the sound of that. Now, what would strawberry home? Would that just be like all red and like like, like the strabby I had over in the bug snacks playthrough? I had a whole strabby room. Pirate theme sounds fun. Like I do have a captain's hat on, but I'm probably not going to have that for much longer if I get another dinosaur egg, right? Get the uh, dinosaur top and or the dinosaur head, and I don't think there is a dinosaur top like a like a shirt. I wish there was though. Forced in the moon. I'll probably do. Let's do that. Forced in the moon, peaceful blue. That sounds good, especially for a bedroom where you're trying to relax. There you go. Ah, something soothing. Okay. Just give me a few days then. I won't touch any of your chests, but it would be nice if you could move them out of the bedroom. <laughs> I don't think I have any chests in the bedroom. Let me do Oh, what in the world? Is there an elevator sound? Oh, the popovers are ready. Wait, what? Oh, it's the oven. <laughs> I was wondering what that, like, elevator sound effect was. Oh, hey! We got a strange bun, I just eat the whole thing immediately in one bite, and I got some energy! Oh, and then she's gone. Okay, what in the world? <laughs> Okay, so probably a couple episodes from now, we're going to see like a- Oh, and it just turned to nighttime outside. Uh, but a couple episodes from now, we're probably going to see a, uh, like a whole makeover for, I guess, just the room? Not the entire house? Probably just the bedroom over there, which I guess is still pretty good. And by the way, that's an artifact, right? Yeah, I can give that to uh, Penny and she'd like that, so I suppose I could- Is there anything else I could do with that? A doll shirt? Yeah, no, that's creepy. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, forget that, hater. Well, let's give her this. Thank you. This looks special. Yeah, it's a strange doll. Hi there, honey. Ready to spend a quiet evening at home? Make yourself comfortable, dear. I've never... I guess I've never talked to her during the evening because I'm always out and about until literally like 1.50 a.m. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not going to make myself comfortable. I need to make myself busy. I need to go give Willie the second fish. And I need to cut down a bunch of trees. So, uh, let me go make myself busy and then I'll come home all exhausted at 1.50 in the morning, Penny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Willie, we already know. It's Saturday night. He's one of the regulars over in the saloon, so we can easily just go find him, right? Or just look at the map. We have that mod install that tells us. And there's that Christmas tree right there. What is Alex doing? Just out in the snow looking at the dog. It's kind of weird. Uh, oh, wait. No, never mind. Wait, what? Where is he? Literally, as I say that. Oh, I think he's on his way over. Hold on. Yeah. So it's, I'm like, yeah, it is seven. So he probably just got off of work or whatever. Uh, and then the show probably just closed up shop. Which, by the way, we need to... What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the batteries to finish this thing there, but... Hey, that's a real lunker. You certainly got the angler's blood in you. Hey, thank you, Willie. How's the fishing life for you? Well, pretty good, honestly. I think I got a level up for fishing last episode. I try to fish as often as possible, but it's not easy when you got a shop to run. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. You just got off of work, but... Anyways, like I said, like, a billion times, let me just go back to the farm and I'll cut down a bunch of trees, try and get a bunch of wood. I don't know how much wood we have right now. And then, yeah, see, look at that. We're, we're missing... I need to place down a bunch of the torches again. Even though I do have the built-in, like, rain light or whatever, I, I do need to get down, get more torches so it's lit up, because it's really dark right now, but... Anyways, yeah, like I said, let me just cut down a bunch of trees until, like, literally 2 a.m. or whatever, and uh, hopefully we get a pretty good, significant chunk of this area over here to cut down and start preparing maybe next episode for all the sprinklers and stuff in the farm for springtime, so... I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, just real quick, uh, I didn't do all cutting down of the trees. I did do a little bit more work over here uh, with the fish pond area. So I think I think four is going to be on maximum, at least for right now. I do need to, was it empty hand or whatever? Push this chest, whoops. Uh, how do I do it? Yeah, and then there you go. And then now it's 1.30. I'm running out of time. And then boom, and then I can do the same thing here in just a sec. Uh, whoops, there you go. And then push it back. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. And then I can just, I can just cut this down and then put it here somewhere else or something, right? 
Not that big of a deal. What are you going to do? A huge oh my gosh, it's already one fail. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know so much time has already passed. Let's go at least go inside the house. Inside the oh man. Oh man, we lost a thousand gold. At least it like caps it out at a thousand. I remember early on the series. Oh, wait, what in the world? Wait, what happened? Like, yeah, uh, okay. I, I was about to say, like, we didn't get any, like, money or anything like that over. I didn't say, like, oh, it's. That's kind of weird. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Yeah, usually at least says, ooh, it's the next day. It just teleported me into here. And I'm pretty sure I lost money right there. And we got, some, like, 500 gold or whatever. Did, did Penny say anything about what just happened? Oh, hey, look at that. We got hash browns. I wonder what's going to be next episode whenever we uh, talk to her again in the morning time. And by the way, oh! Was that cutscene earlier because we maxed her out because you have 14 out 14 now? Good morning, Waffle. I made you a hot breakfast. Thank you very much, Penny. I love hash browns. It's important to me that you leave here with a full belly. Yeah, full belly full of energy. Now, before I end off the episode, uh, let's see what our progress is down here. Okay, so that's silver. I remember that. I, I think last episode, at the end of last episode, that was blank. So that was nothing. That's still silver. What, when is that going to be gold? That's good. Okay, gold tomorrow and then eight. I don't know. Maybe whatever. One of these turn into iridium. Oh, iridium tomorrow. Okay. You know, whenever that turns gold tomorrow, these all iridium tomorrow. When does this turn like gold? Uh, two days. Eh, I'll probably wait for that, honestly. Especially because it's not in the... It's not in... Like, like these I'm going to tear down to, you know, make a double row right here. So, these I'm just going to leave up. Next episode, we're going to get a lot of iridium cheese, which is going to be good. It's going to leave us up a, a lot of, like, free area that I guess you say. And then these still turn silver in eight days. So, are we going to get those caviar from the... Especially because now we, we can only do one per fish pond at first, and it takes a time, and... I don't know, because with one... What is it called? Uh, sturgeon? Oh, what in the world? Why is cap lock on? With one sturgeon, we have a 20% chance of getting row, so... I don't know... Like, I for some reason, I thought we had more, like, inventory spaces at the start of a fish pond, but... With two of them, hey, at least hopefully that's going to help us out. We have double 20%, right? Not not quite 40%, but uh, two instances of 20%, I guess to say. I don't know if that's very equal, but uh, let's see. Is this. Oh, yeah, I need I need to physically make a sign. That's how that tells you. And then we're feeling pretty good. Now, I don't know if I could like move this so we could have like the sturgeons next to each other. You know, I don't know if I could move this here and then the fish also move. I don't know. Anyways, uh, if you guys know, let me in the comments down below. But as you see, Robin's building that right there. Uh, if I zoom out, look at this map. Oh, it doesn't show it here. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, it is Sunday. So we have another traveling merchant. So don't want to forget that. Don't want to forget about that next episode. Golly. And then we have someone's birthday. Wait, who? Harvey? Was it Harvey? It might be Pierre. I don't know. I, we'll figure it out next episode. We'll look at the calendar and stuff next episode. But hey, at least we got some good progress done over here. As you can see, starting to make over the farm. We're figuring out like, okay, this is going to be a fish pond area over here. I guess this. And look at that. We got worms. Let's see. How wide is this? If I did like, say, I don't know, maybe three iridium, or three iridium sprinklers here. Would this take over for this area here? I don't know. I, I need to count. This is something we'll do next episode and the coming episodes too. So we'll, we'll, we'll like measure out. We'll count out. I wonder if there's a mod. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably look it up as well. You guys know in Terraria, they have that like built-in ruler, like a measuring thing, and you're able to like count out tiles and stuff easily. I don't know if there's an equivalent for Stardew Valley like built in, or maybe you have to install a mod for that. I don't know. If you guys know about that, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'll, I'll also be looking on my own, too. Uh, but, you know, that, that's... Wait, what in the world? Why am I playing in 4K? What? Is this in 4K all of a sudden? When did that happen? <laughs> not like I noticed, because the, the game's all pixely and stuff, so... It's not like it'd, like, lower the frame rate or anything like that for me, at least, right? But anyways, yeah, so... I, it'd, be, it'd make it a million times easier to do planning if I had the, uh, the like, some sort of measuring, like, tile sort of thing. Because we already know that the Iridium one does, like, a 5 thing across like one in the middle uh, for the sprinkler and then of course two on each side and so it's a five by five right so that would essentially be like 10 blocks or 15 blocks or tiles or whatever width if i wanted to do three iridium sprinkler width i just don't know if this is 15 just like looking at it right now without spending time literally counting each tile on its own right but i'll definitely have to look into that, that that's definitely something i'll allow into installing the because i don't want to install too many like mods that are like possibly game breaking and stuff like that you know uh, but something like that is kind of minor that at least helps out the playthrough a little bit and stuff, you know? Uh, alongside the other mods, I have, like, the people on the map and, like, the built-in wiki and stuff. I definitely allow those types of mods. But real quick, before we end off the episode, which I don't know if this is a longer episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it if it is. Uh, we have a letter in the mail from Linus. Waffle, you're lucky I found you last night. <laughs> so thankfully Linus actually found us. Now, did we lose any money? I have no idea how much money they took. Man, 
I thought maybe Linus being like maxed out friend would like maybe stop them eventually and we'd never lose money again. But no, I guess you're always going to be penalized for like, I'm like, I was right outside my heckin' house. How'd that even happen? Ah, man. That's just me trying to do so much planning and all that kind of stuff. Definitely. Yeah, this is something you guys commented like so much uh, is like to figure out this is like this situation right here. Because <laughs> this is like super crowded, like right outside the house, right? Uh, the furnaces and all that kind of stuff. Especially if I wanted to make this a too wide like pathway right here. I'm going to get at least get rid of these, remove them or something like that. Put them somewhere else. Figure that out sometime here in the future. Uh, and then we have another mail right here. Hold on. Who's this from? Wait, what? 540 gold. So for the stun. Oh, yeah, the cash back. Wait, did we just get a cash back reward thing from Pierre? And uh, starting tomorrow, the traveling merchant fleet. Oh, the night market stuff. Oh, that's going to be happening next episode, too. Ooh, a lot of stuff is happening now, you guys. Man, how are we going to be able to squeeze all this stuff into one episode? And, oh, yeah, it is Harvey's birthday. I thought uh, it might have been Pierce because there, there was like five people on like one area there. But yeah, it's like a three night event. Golly. Well, that's going to be something to look forward to here in the future. But for right now, I'm going to end off this episode right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Wah! Oh, bye there. <laughs>